I'm Dave McGrill and here's a quick roll call tip for you. This is not easy, this is actually kind of difficult and that is maintaining discipline and professionalism on automatic alarms. Every fire department responds to automatic alarms and autom automatic alarms can frequently turn out to be something less than a bona fide emergency. We respond to automatic alarms that turn out to be system malfunctions, steam scare from shower from a uh, water from a shower, uh, we have burnt food calls, a maliciously discharged dry cam extinguisher, a maliciously activated pole station, a long list of why these are sometimes not a bona fide emergency. But the point is, even in frequent flyer buildings, those can become some of our most dangerous buildings because of human complacency. Would ask that you always take automatic alarms very seriously. Take them very seriously because my experience has been that automatic alarms do sometimes turn out to be a bona fide emergency. Take them seriously and there's a benefit to the automatic alarm even if it does not turn out to be a bona fide emergency or fire. When we're in that building, we can learn a lot about that building. So when you go into that building, take it seriously, prepare for a fire. If there is a fire, then you'll be in a position to deal with it appropriately. If it turns out to be another system malfunction, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, we certainly would contact our fire prevention folks to try and address the fact that there was a malfunction on a building and try and help those folks correct their system but it's also an opportunity for us to learn about the building to take a look at that building to pre-plan that building to maybe lay out dry hose in the building to simulate a standpipe stretch just to see what kind of uh, particular uh, situations we might encounter in that building for the standpipe uh, uh, stretch and so forth um, having firefighters take a uh, handset with them and before they come down from a report ported floor of alarm, plugging that handset into a phone jack and checking the internal communications between that area and the fire command center. Do the master keys work in that building? Does the Knox box actually have master keys in that building? Which stairwell would be best in this particular situation for a scenario of a fire in the reported area? Uh, tax stairwell versus evacuation stairwell. We can learn a lot in a building on an automatic alarm just by spending an extra 15 minutes there after we determine if the the alarm is a truly a bona fide emergency or not. So please take them seriously, fight the complacency, and use that time inside of that building that had the automatic alarm that turned out to be something less than an emergency. Use that time to your benefit to learn about the building so that when you have a real deal fire inside that building, you'll be able to operate professionally with safety and success, and we'll be able to deliver excellent service to our constituents. Thanks for listening.